Microsoft scammers. I called them, they didn't answer the phone, and then they called me back. They figured if they can get a hold of me, I'm probably not a baiter. And I think he would have stuck with me if it wasn't for that darn phone ringing. Maybe he thought the other person on the phone would be a better target. Let's have some fun. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello? I said, just called in. How can I help you? Well, I got a pop-up on my computer here, and it's got your number on it, so I called it. I don't know. Got a pop-up? Yeah, it's a pop-up. It's Windows Defender Security Center. I don't know. I got to get it out of here. I'm afraid that I'm infected. Probably get the old COVID on the computer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which city and state are you calling from? Oh, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. And your phone number? My phone number. Mm -hmm. Am I registered with you that you would know? Well, can you give me your phone number? Yeah, I can give it to you, but I didn't know if I was registered, and that's why it popped up. I didn't know. It's 615-933. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you just dialed my number. It seems like you already know it. You dialed it. So I can mm -hmm. give it to you. You dialed it. What is the make and model of the computer that you're using? Oh, it's, um, it's, uh, it's not on here. It's a HP Elite. Is it a laptop or desktop? It's a laptop. It's right on my laptop. What you doing on the computer? When the oh, I was watching some videos. All right. There will be a one-time charge in order to fix this computer, okay? One-time charge? How much? Hmm? How much? How much? $300. $300. And what will I do? What will you do to fix it? So that's the charges to fix it, okay? What, what are you going to do to fix it? What's got to be fixed? Does it pop up? I didn't know don't if waste was my, broken. Don't, Is there something don't waste broken? my time, okay? Don't waste I'm, your time. I'm not wasting my time. Oh, he hung up. Thank you for calling. I'm just home and happy today. Yes, I got a call. Um, I'm not sure what it was about. So, when did you get the email from us? Oh, the email was, um, I don't know, it was... It was this morning, I think. I mean, Can you please read out the issue for me? What? What? Can you please read out the Can you please read out the email for me? Oh, it deletes after I read it. When you read the email, it deletes automatically on mine. So I have it set up. I'm sorry about that. So, sir, can I have the old ID number? Can Can I have the old ID number, please? Oh, I think I remember it was like four, seven, something. There was a four and a seven in it. I don't remember the rest. Sir, uh, with something I can help you. I need an order ID number to pull out the account. Oh, to pull up my account, you can have my name. It's Danny Chasco? No, sorry. Without, with your name, I can't help you. I need an order ID number. Oh, it's four, seven and something? And my name is Danny Chasco. Sir, with something I can help you. I really beg a story to you. It was probably nothing. Uh, sorry. I got a... I don't know what it was about. Yeah. It's just a mistake. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah. Because you have this Amazon support, everyone used to call us for complaint only. Well, Someone might be paid. Oh, 
Come on, my good face, all under your name. That's why you're getting an email. So, in order to talk with you, I need a whole order ID number. The basic thing is ID. Really? I, I don't have that anymore, but it's, it was probably a mistake. You guys probably just emailed me by accident. There's probably nothing wrong. Everything's fine. Okay? Goodbye now. Yeah, sir. Okay, sir. You can hang up the call. Thank okay. you. Have good day. Okay. How do I hang this thing up? <laughs> so now I need an order ID number. They want to make sure they're not being baited. They want to make sure that they emailed me and that it's not a scam baiter calling them or as they call them a time waster <laughs>